Welcome to Canadian Freedom, right? Um, today I want to talk about something a little more serious, uh, the MAID program in Canada, which is kind of unreported on some of the changes being made. And for those of you who don't know what MAID is, it's Medical Assisted in Dying. So euthanasia, uh, uh, medical assisted suicide whatever you would like to call it um, so I'd like to uh, it became legal uh, I think it was about two years ago now in Canada so maybe even longer um, and like many Canadians when when it was first introduced I didn't really have a big problem with it because it was you know the, th the thoughts like many Canadians were uh, you know someone at the near end of life struggling very badly in pain or whatever that they'd have a a, a comfortable uh, end and if you've ever had a, a family member or a friend near the end in that situation you might understand why <clears throat> at the time a lot of uh what i thought were conspiracy theories you know saying once they open this up to to one set of uh, criteria uh, they'll open up to everybody now I thought this was preposterous and never really thought anything of it I also haven't really been paying attention over the last couple of years on how many people have actually been put to death and recently I heard about some changes to the program that made me stop to think so I did a little uh, quick digging on them to see what kind of numbers they are and currently uh, four to five percent of all deaths in Canada last year were from the MAID program. So about 17,000 people. So in saying that, we'll, we'll, we'll get to some of the changes. I'd like just to play one of the advertisements um, for the program. Uh, kind of start this video. Blast breaths are sacred. When I imagine my final days, I see bubbles. I see the ocean. I see music. Even now, as I seek help to end my life, there is still so much beauty. You just have to be brave enough to see it. Blast breaths are sacred. Now, I don't really know what to take for that video. Are they almost promoting it or making it seem whimsical? Or Anyway, I've seen another video um, that was very similar. But uh, again, 4, four to 5% of all deaths last in 2022. Um, I'll just pull, pull up some of the stats here. <clears throat> Here's the things that concern me. Uh, some of the changes that they're proposed, proposed to make um, for next year will include people with addiction problems, any age, people at any age with mental health problems or disabilities to adding to that. So if you think about currently, 2022, I guess, must have been the second year, 4.1% of all deaths in Canada represents 31.2% over 2021. So more and more people, obviously, are being given the choice for the MAID program. I, I saw a story, um, I forget the... Uh, uh, who the story was by. It was by an English uh, reporter, a uh, YouTube reporter, basically, who interviewed a, a veteran uh, from Quebec, I think, who was struggling with getting services. She was a, vet, a veteran. She was also a Canadian Olympian. And she was struggling with uh, receiving new wheelchair, other services. And the Canadian government actually asked her, a veteran and Canadian Olympic, if she would consider made so that would if they're willing to push made 
on a veteran Canadian Olympic uh, hero, you know, who are they going to be pushing this on? And now with opening the regulation or the program to um, people with addiction, which is, is a huge problem in this country and in America, um, met, uh, people with mental disabilities or, or um, you know, depression, things like that, which is also a huge growing problem, you know, is 31% growth in 2021. I imagine when the stats come for 2023, it'll be higher. And when you open it to everybody else, you know, what does that number go to? Does it become the second leading cause of death instead of the fifth? I don't know. I'm not okay with it. You know, the conspiracy theorists were right, like many other things, uh, conspiracies over the last decade that turned out to be right. So maybe it's something we should stop and think about if this is the way we should be treating fellow Canadians. Tell me what you think below, if you agree with this, or if we should get rid of this. We should question Pierre Polyev on this as well, because he will be the next Prime Minister. Again, like, subscribe, share the video, give me your thoughts. Because again, I'm not okay with this.